In this video, I want to go through and show you how to automatically send inquiries from a Google form straight through into your Notion CRM database so that you can easily access all their details. So let's jump in. So the first thing you need to do is create a Google form. So you can select any Google form that's already created and just edit it to suit. So I would just create a blank one. Let's just call this inquiry form. And then you just need to put in the questions that you want to ask. So, well, you can put a description up here and just say, um, please complete the following inquiry form and we will get back to you with a quotation as soon as possible. So you can fill in whatever you want to put at the top. This is just a dummy one, so we're just going to be throwing some information here. So with the first one, you could just put in a question. Um, so probably the first one you want to ask is name. It's probably going to be a short answer. You're going to have um, the option to duplicate this rather than adding things all the time from the right menu. You can just duplicate and just change this. So um, we might, might want to have email address. Oops. I'll have that as short answer as well. And then you can ask your question. So maybe you want to ask... Um, is it that you need assistance with? And maybe we can put that as a paragraph so it's a longer answer. And maybe we can duplicate this and say, um, what time frame do you need assistance in? And a shorter one. And then maybe We'll ask one final question. Um, what is your approximate budget? Yes. Again, we're just throwing this together really roughly just as a demo. Now, in order to edit your Google form, you can go up here to this um, customized theme, this little paint palette looking thing, and you can change the colors. So if you want to change the background colors, you can do that there. If you wanted to add a header up the top, you could also do that here. Um, you can just select one from the, the themes that they have, or you can upload your own images. So for this one, we'll probably just leave it blank. So was looking for anything. So what we're going to do from here is I'm going to hit send up here and I'm going to go to this paper clip and I'm going to shorten the URL and copy it and so this is going to give us a if we paste it in here it is going to give us a um, copy of the form that we can just fill out so we're going to use that shortly so let's just come back to this form let's come over here let's say inquiry form let's say inquiry form test so i know which one it is because the other one i've got in my account is also inquiry form so let's just close that one. Now we're going to task magic. So in task magic, this is what the app flow looks like when you're going to do an automation. So we want to click on new flow over here. And we're just going to go start from scratch. Now the first thing that you need to do is select your trigger. So this is the first thing that's going to set off your workflow. So if we hit change trigger on the side here, what we need to select is Google Form. So I'm just going to type it in. So we've got Google Forms here. When a new response is received, it's going to be our trigger. So we're going to click on that one. Then you want to add your connection. So if yours is not already connected, you just hit New Connection and you just follow the prompts. So mine's already connected. And then I'm going to select Inquiry Form Test because that's the one we just did. And we're just going to go load data and it should say there's no results. Perfect. So what we might do here is we might just fill in a dummy one and we'll just say Sue Smith, but I'm just going to put my email address and say email. What do you need assistance with? A bit of everything. What time frame do you need? Um, by the end of March. 
and what's your approximate budget? Let's say two thousand dollars, right? So we're going to hit submit. Okay, so that's done. So now, if we were to go back and we went load data, it should bring some through. See, it's found it. It's brought it through. So you know that that is working. Perfect. So the next thing you want to do is hit the plus sign. And then we're going to select Notion because that's where we're going to be sending the information to. So in this one, we're going to go with the action being create a database item because we want it to create a new record each time that form is filled in. So now we have to select the right workspace and then the right database. So I'm going to this one and then I am going to select my CRM. Just having a think. Okay, CRM. Now, once you select your database, all of those fields that are in that database should automatically populate underneath. So we're just waiting for those to appear. So in here, then you can say, where is the lead form lead coming from? Because I have this field set up in my Notion CRM. So if we were to open up this one, for instance, you can see lead from here. It's one of the fields. So if we go back here and we can select, okay, every time this form is filled in, in Notion, it's going to select that it's coming from the Google form. So we know exactly where it's coming from. Then we're going to have, okay, what's their struggles? So what we need to do is, sorry, I should explain that better. We, when we get to this bit, you want to click in the box. This will appear with the data to insert. You want to go to this arrow on the right-hand side, and then you want to go to answers, and you want to go to that arrow on the right-hand side. Now, these are actually the answers to the questions that people have filled in. But it doesn't, you can't just select this one, you need to go deeper. So you need to use the arrow again, and you need to go down until there's no arrows left, basically. And then you get the value. So this one isn't the right question, so we need to look for the right question. So we're looking for one that says their current struggles, which I put in was everything. So the downside about this is that when the Google form answers come through, it comes through with that sort of gobbledygook at the top. It doesn't um, give you the actual question. So there's the value there. We're going to insert that one. Their budget for the project, it's the same thing again. We just click in the box, hit the um, arrow, and then we're going to go down until we find that. Now I'm pretty sure it was one of these ones. No. But we could put, we didn't, oh yeah, we did put name. We could put the name there so we know where that one is. It's the second one down, isn't it? So we can just hit insert. Okay. When it comes to the lead status, this is a drop down box as well. So you can just click on that one and you can put new not action. Um, that way you can categorize it in Notion. Okay, so we now have budget for the project that we need to fill in. Let's have a look at one of these ones, see if it's down the bottom. No, that's end of month. Let's go to the one above. Yep, there it is. So we have that budget for the project. Uh, let's select two things there. Let's take that one out. Okay. Um, what do they need assistance with? Well, that's current struggles. We don't really need anything else there. So because we just did a sort of dodgy form, we're not answering all the questions, but this gives you a good understanding. So if we hit test step, it now comes up um, with all of this information. 
So if we were to now go over here and hit test flow, so remember this person that we have entered in, Sue Smith. So what oh, we had Jill Smith before, uh, Sue Smith. Okay, so she has now come through here because we've done that um, test on the right hand side. So where we've said load data, it's sent through a test. So she's now there. If you open that up, you can see it's filled in what her struggle is, her budget. We've got the lead status as new, not actioned. And we have a Google lead from Google form. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we want it to do. So that's how you get the information to come across. So now all you need to do is give your um, automation a name. So you can just hit this arrow up here and rename it. And then you just want to hit publish and that will start working for you. That's that simple.